<laughs> That's a big fish. Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Nut Fly Fishing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tie this unsinkable indicator fly. I designed this fly to be extremely buoyant, extremely visible and to take fish. If you've ever used indicators, you'll understand the frustration of a trout coming up and eating your indicator without eating the fly that's on your dropper. This fly is one of the solutions for that exact problem. This fly gives me the ability to fish up to a 3.5 millimeter bead head, which means that I can get straight to the depth of the fish. I'm never left wondering if my fly is at the right depth or not. The beauty of this fly is its simplicity and its ability to float all day, unquestionably, and be visible in nearly all light conditions which means more time with your fly in the strike zone. Click the link on the screen now if you want to see this fly in action. But without further ado, let's start tying. To get started in the vise, we have a Mustad Extra Light Dry Fly Hook in size 8. Next, we will need some white Ultra Thread in 70 denier. Begin by laying a thread base. Continue your thread all the way down the hook shank until you reach the barb of the hook. And of course, snipping away the excess. Next thing, we need some Upavon Premium HD Foam in pink or the foam of your choosing. Our next step is to then tie in a 10 millimeter wide strip of foam, making sure you leave some free space behind the eye of the hook. This will come into play later on. Once your thread is secure and looks something like this, we can then move to the next step. The next step requires a three millimeter wide piece of foam tied in in the same manner as we tied the first piece. In. Wrapping our thread up towards the front of the hook and finishing where the foam ends. The next step is to take our thinner piece of foam and wrap it forward. Do your best to keep this fairly tight and fairly firm. I actually tied this in a bit poorly here. I'm not proud of it, but it happened. But it won't affect the functionality of the fly. It'll still work the way it's meant to. Now we come in and we snip away that excess foam. Our next step is to fold our three millimeter foam forward and to secure that with some thread wraps. Now I like to put a fair few on here just to make sure it's all pinched down. And I actually don't go too tight on this because I don't want the thread to cut through the foam. Our next step is to bring our thread over the back of the foam and to throw in a few thread wraps just to keep that thread where it is. Bring our foam back over the body of that fly and secure it down with some nice firm thread wraps. Five to six should do the job. Once you're happy with that being secure, bring your thread forward to the eye of the hook and throw in a few wraps just to secure that in place. Feel free to give it a bit of a tweak and just move that foam around and get it sitting exactly where you want it. And the next step is to bring that foam at the rear forward and secure it behind the eye of the hook. I could have left myself a little bit more room at the eye of the hook here, but uh, sometimes it just goes like that. I find this foam fairly forgiving in that manner because it just pinches down so tight. Once you're happy with that, snip away your excess. And continue to throw in some more wraps just to secure that foam down just a little bit more. Get it nice and tight. You don't want this fly coming apart. The second last step here is to throw in a five turn whip finish. Doesn't have to be five turns, but I did five turns. And the next thing is to finally snip away your thread. I like to add some UV resin to the head of my fly and also to the rear of my fly where I did those thread wraps. I find this just helps secure everything and the fly lasts a lot longer. I also turn the fly over and put the eye of the hook into uh, my vise to get to the rear of the fly a lot easier. This just works with my vise, uh, it may not be the same for you. Once you've finished hitting that with the UV light, you are done. You made it. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, so that is the unsinkable indicator fly. I really recommend it. It's an excellent way to catch fish. 
There's nothing better than seeing this thing dip underwater or even better, a fish coming up and eating it off the surface. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Happy fishing. Like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Catch you later. <laughs> That's a big fish.